The illegals who caused a riot at the border, getting the liberal city special and walking free out of jail. The Texas judge reportedly ordering the release of several migrants seen in this shocking video. Stampeding their way through razor wire while pummeling Texas National Guardsmen. The White House not bothered by the migrant madness and blaming Republicans for it. Most of the border crossers accused of beating up Texas National Guardsmen in a riot last month were released on their own recognizance Sunday. How does that make people in this country any safer? As the event unfolded, uh, the Border Patrol was able to act quickly and get the situation under control and apprehend the migrants. Our immigration system has been broken for decades because of the last president and because they, they put politics in ha ahead of the American people. We are seeing chaos. Does President Biden wish that Republicans in Congress would help him make a law that made it easier to deport people? He wants congressional Republicans to pass, to move forward with a bipartisan border security agreement. All right, uh, Harold, in the green room, hmm. you came up with an amazing solution for this. You said, Greg, we should kill two birds with one stone and hire squatters as security against the illegal gang members. I thought that was pretty inventive. Again, I got to look at the cameras on these <laughs> things. I, I, you could be right. The, this, this story here, we, we, do, we do a lot of stories like this, rightly so. For, for the life of me, I, I, I blame President Biden and his administration for 80 percent of this, and I blame the Congress for 20 percent. But when you're in the, if, you, if your party is in charge of the White House and you see this happening, you have more tools at your disposal to do something immediately. Now, there are a lot of things that President Trump did that I don't like. There are some things that he did that I do like, from getting us a vaccine sooner to, I think, smarter executive orders on the border. I actually think President Obama had the toughest uh, executive orders, but President Trump certainly had ones that were effective. Uh, and there were things that there were some other things that President Trump did around the economy that I thought were that were, I thought were decent. This issue here in a tie race, if you want to just look at the bare politics of the White House, this is the issue that will cause you to lose, will call, cause us to lose. Now, that shouldn't be the only reason you act, but in politics, uh, generally, winning or getting reelected is what, what prompts or what catalyzes people to act. The American people don't like this, uh, rightly so. Americans don't feel safe with this. Uh, just like when we say on this show and I say on this show, you can tell people they're doing well economically or financially, but if they're not, they're not going to believe it. If you tell people they're safe and secure and our border is secure and they see these images over and over and over again, they're not going to believe it uh, because it's not true. Uh, I would hope that the White House and I would hope even those in Congress who can act would do it. But if you're in the White House, you have an opportunity, I believe, an obligation to act on this. Mm, you know, Jesse, if only they had evidence that these illegals were spreading anti-Biden memes we could send the FBI after him. Right, because uh, I remember on January 6th, a couple people even peacefully trespassed on the federal property. Mm -hmm. And the ones that weren't so peaceful and may have assaulted a federal agent, I mean, they were, they were sent to prison for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. The same thing is happening at the border. People are trespassing on the federal property, or in this case, assaulting federal agents, and they're just sprung. So it's total... BS. Now, Greg, the people we're told are coming here are asylum seekers. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to be an asylum seeker, you have to fear your life is in danger in your country. So, on account of your race, people are fleeing South America. These are Hispanics fleeing Hispanic countries. Okay? Or what about their religion? Are we saying these are Muslim Hispanics that are being persecuted in Guatemala or in Ecuador? Or membership in a particular social group is making them feel persecuted? Are they Freemasons? They might be. Uh, <laughs> are they transgender individuals who feel persecuted? Greg, where have all the newspaper stories been about mass persecutions in Latin America? Mm -hmm. Where are the unmarked graves? Where are the overflowing political prisons? The New York Times isn't interested in, in, in millions of people being persecuted? I mean, and wait a second, the presidents of all of these Latin American countries are then coming to the White House to ask just hang out with the president, hang out with the vice president. And ask for money. And ask for money. Why would you give a president money who's politically persecuting millions of people? None of this makes sense.
He makes a really good point, and that always surprises me. I know. I was really shocked by <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, Listen, yeah. it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> You're really firing on all cylinders. I thought about the TikTok migrant that we talked about oh, last I week. Oh, I loved him. So he was on TikTok instructing other illegal migrants to squat on vacant homes. Mm -hmm. So they pay attention to our laws and work to exploit them. Um, there was a political piece just a couple of months, maybe about a month ago. I can't believe it didn't get more attention. It was about an inside look of the Biden White House about how they used immigration as a political hot potato. Mm -hmm. Because once they'd done all those executive orders that Biden signed and realized that they had walked themselves into a terrible policy mess, they all started just throwing it. It's not my fault, not my fault. This president has had, I think, the fewest cabinet meetings of any president of modern history. If I were him, I would call a cabinet meeting and I would look around the table and say, everybody right here, tell me what you're going to do because Congress won't act. Congress won't act, so what are we going to do here? Let's start with you, Merrick Garland, and what we're going to do at the border with these guys who just got released. I wish you would just call a cab. <laughs> <laughs> Last word, Judge. You know what? If one of these agents ever, like, in self-defense hurt one of these people... They'd sue. Oh, you know it. They'd sue and they'd <laughs> collect. It would be terrible. Look, um, these people have rided their way into the United States. They don't have a right to be here. That is illegal entry. That is rioting. Within hours, they are released on their own recognizance, ROR'd by a judge. His name is, and I want you to remember his name, everybody, because these are the people who are tearing down America. Um, his name is Huberto Acosta, all right? He dismissed nearly 100 cases in uh, August of 22, dismissed additional 100 cases in October, and then dismisses 100 cases this past weekend. How can you dismiss cases within hours of the arrest? They, he then claims that the DA didn't indict in time. Well, the DA can't indict. And by the way, judge, he has 180 days, the DA, to actually indict these individuals. So this is the fault of that judge. That judge could have retained them. Uh, an illegal alien is an inherent flight risk. Now, let's talk about what the Fed should have done. The federal government, if we had a sane federal government, they would have come out here and they would have they would have made a public announcement that they're going to charge every one of them with illegal entry or reentry, which is probably the case with a lot of them, or assault. They literally uh, jumped on the knee of one of the uh, 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 Border Patrol agents, looked at him and did it intentionally, and rioting along with the other charges. And then the federal government should say, we are going to send our most elite uh, 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 officers to track down and deport these individuals. This is a failure of the federal government, the failure of the federal government who has literally abdicated its responsibility to the American people. And then what they do is when Texas tries to defend its own border, Joe Biden and his pals try to stop Texas from enforcing the law. So right now we're in a quagmire with the feds. So we've got the, uh, the way it re the district court said it's unconstitutional to allow Texas to, to protect the border. Order. Fifth Circuit said no, but we're going to stay it. Supreme Court lifts the stay, and then the Fifth Circuit restored the stay. What's wrong with our legal system? And this judge and the federal government are responsible. All right. Ahead, the widow of slain NYPD detective Jonathan Diller is ripping into the liberal bail laws. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.